All new at 11 now, a national pet store once under fire for selling sick puppies now vowing to make changes tonight. I team investigator Jackie Calloway uncovering the company's delays and denials for pet owners who spent thousands paying pricey vet bills for their new dogs. I don't want this to happen to somebody else. They're reading the signs. Cassandra Kiefer picketed Petland Largo earlier this month. They guaranteed me that my dog was 100% healthy the day I took it home. Cassandra says Cade got sick and stopped eating hours after her family paid nearly $5,000 for the Bernese Mountain Dog. I was in tears crying because I just couldn't believe that the dog was so sick. Courtney Sloan spent more than $4,000 on Lola, but her puppy nearly died the week after coming home from Petland Largo with this health certificate. She wouldn't even open her eyes. She was vomiting. This isn't the first time Petland Largo has come under fire. <coughs> the I team exposed issues with the store selling sick puppies in 2017. That's for her ear infection. And 2018. The doctor told us, like, you might not make it tonight. Florida's so-called pet lemon law requires sellers to pay the vet bills up to the full price of the puppy if they get sick within two weeks of leaving the store. Over $3,300 just for the ER. Then and now, puppy owners say Petland delayed or denied vet bill payments for their sick dogs. Another month went by and still nothing. This is the medicine they first prescribed him with and that he was on for the longest time. I met Cassandra in June, six months after Cade got sick with a severe gastrointestinal infection. In this letter, Cade's current veterinarian said he was not fit to be sold. Do you want to do belly rub? At the time, Cassandra was still waiting on Petland to pay her nearly $2,000 in vet bills. And I worked with them. I did everything they told me to do. Petland guarantees the health of every dog it sells. Take a listen to the heart. Dr. Matt Faccarazzo, Petland Largo's veterinarian, provides a free health exam and signs off on the health certificate for every puppy sold. If they purchase the dog from Petland, they have a two-week period where they can come to me with any problems. Dr. Faccarazzo examined Cade a day after Cassandra brought him home. Did a physical exam, found nothing wrong with him. So we'll be listening to the lungs. Dr. Kevin Kelly is not involved with these Petland cases, but says dogs with symptoms like coughing, diarrhea, and vomiting within days after going home were likely sold sick. It's unlikely that this animal was completely healthy two days prior. It takes time to get that sick. We brought our findings to Petland. Weeks later, the store cut a check for Cade's bills. Petland also promised to review Lola's case. All the legitimate costs related to whatever illness the puppy may have had are reimbursed. Petland's attorney told us it's rare for its puppies to get sick and says the store now has a new owner. They provided these photos showing it's hired and vetted all new dog breeders within the past year. There have been fewer cases now since we have taken over than there were under the old ownership. Such a good puppy. But oh. these owners That's a good girl. say the company needs to do more to back up its health guarantees for the puppies it sells. Petland advertises, you know, happy, healthy puppy, and that's what we thought we were going to get. So before purchasing your next pet, make sure to look for signs like runny nose, coughing or even a complete lack of energy and don't wait to take the dog to a vet and if the seller does not pay those vet bills you can file a complaint with the state we've got resources online at abcactionnews.com i'm jackie calloway taking action for you